good morning let's talk about what's going on so <laughs> we got the tundra and we got that sweet lear shell off of facebook marketplace and we are getting ready to do a, a week oh, somebody hit my mirror oh no we didn't we're getting ready to do a week on the road um just exploring taking photos and just making content i'm really excited about it and we needed to make a little camper right and the reason i got that lear shell is because i was like i'm not trying to spend any money because i'm gonna get a nice camper but i tried to sleep this way in the back nah bro i like <laughs> i wasn't and i'm short and i wasn't I can't lay flat like that right so that's what i'm getting a really i'm gonna get a, a get nice camper or build a nicer one but i wanted something temporary for this trip i ended up picking up this lear for nothing off facebook and we're gonna do a temporary setup with that being said in this video we are going to build out a cheap little camper setup in the back of this lear shell that anybody can do and we're going to do it without zero tools which means we're building nothing so it's going to be a no build it's going to be super simple it's all stuff i just bought off the internet that we're going to throw in the back there and i think this video is going to be really cool for anybody who just wants a temporary setup and doesn't necessarily want to buy like a saw to make a build you know uh, so that's what this video is. So by watch the whole video, you'll see everything we used in here and we'll do like a little walkthrough of what we set up. But, uh, it's going to be super simple for anybody who's got a truck, just pick up a shell to a quick, cheap, little easy breezy camper in the back. And then we'll go hit the road and have some fun. Let's get after it. I want to show you something that I'm not sure is common. So we got the Lear shell, right? And then we got this bed rug, but like underneath, look how much water is getting in there. Like, is that normal? I think I'm going to pull that bed rug out. I'm going to message a couple people. <laughs> and find out if that's normal because it's like it stinks in there it smells musty and i don't necessarily want to be living in here for a week and just having i feel like if i didn't have this um the water would dry faster uh i don't know is that common or what anyways here's the boxes of all the stuff we're putting in there and i'm excited to unbox it and show you but let me do a little recon on this bed rug leaking issue. Update, I just talked to JD and he says to pull this thing out, it'll dry faster. <laughs> it was just a pain in the butt to get in there, but we got to dry that water out. It's pretty bad, so I'm gonna get on that. Okay, we got a fan uh, on the truck bed and we're trying to dry it out. And we got the bed rug, drip drying, super soaked. I was just talking, so this is what we found out so far. 
Apparently, you're supposed to put like a weather strip seal on the truck bed when you put these shells on. It's not supposed to leak this or that. Uh, we didn't do that and we're not gonna do that because we're actually gonna do a camper and this is literally just a temporary setup for the next week. So, what I was suggested to do was just to take the bed rug out for now so that airflow can hit the bed and it can dry faster because this thing is just gonna be a sponge soaking water like it has been and stinking uh, if we do this trip with that bed rug. So, we're not gonna run with it for this trip. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna unbox our truck camper setup. I'm hyped about it. Let's hop into a time lapse. Boom. All right, I'm gonna show you what it is. So, we got our duffel bag, which is gonna be our clothes storage and basically our whole life in the duffel bag. Throw it in, throw it out, pack it in the house. Oh, it's even called a road tripper. So I'll put links to all this stuff. Then we got our REI camp chair for the vibes. Uh, we're gonna have, we're not gonna be running a heater at night, so we need to stay warm. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna grab the, uh, I have an old buddy heater that I'll go get. Maybe I'll find that right now. Let's see. Where is that at? That's uh, tiny home. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, that's Nathan. What's up? So we gotta go get the buddy heater. Uh, but check this out. So this is, um, it's made to turn your car into a bed and it's called this Trailgate vehicle sleeping platform. Kind of tight. And the whole point of all this is so I could just chuck it in there when I want to go do a trip and I could just pack it up when I don't. So this is the main components. And next up, we're going to unbox all this stuff and put it in the back of the bed. Update. Uh, we've been gone all day. It's three o'clock. <laughs> so I'm not sure where we were filming at. But Nathan and I had to go take the MR2, one of my other cars, to get an alignment done, and we just got back. Uh, but update is tons of water coming in. We pulled the bed out, trying to, trying to dry it out. But you can see, like, right here, it's wet. So it's legit just coming in under that shell. So we are 100% not putting the bed line or that carpet back because it's just gonna hold the water in there uh so we'll be okay so let's go ahead and start figuring this stuff out i think we're gonna start with the bed Check this thing out. I'm pretty impressed with this. This is called like a REI Trail Gator vehicle bunk system. That's kind of legit. Oh, we didn't we didn't finish. Uh oh, those straps are to uh put this on. Let's do that.
shit. There it is, my bed. Let's check it out. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of the stuff in here. Here's a sleeping bag we got. And it's, I'm five foot six. So this should be fine. Uh, zero degrees, so hopefully we'll be warm. <laughs> it's got this little hood. I'm used to having, um, you know, legit heaters in my rigs. I'm straight up camping now, so let's put this up. Oh, did I just rip it already? It's brand new. Oh, it's okay. Come on. Here's my lighting situation and I got these little hooks to try and put up there. They look a little big but we'll see if we can maybe hang it without that. And we got this net we need to put up up top and then we got reflectix for the windows. Let's open this. This is a little bigger than I thought. Here's the stuff so Battery indicator, built-in USB ports, wow, cool. Solar panel, hook clip, USB storage slot. How do you charge it? Check that out. Got my little starry sky vibe going on. Woo -wee. Look at that. All right, we're almost there. What's left? Might be about it. I'm gonna go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end for the day. I'm tired. So we got, we got our bunk in there, sleeping bag. This is our duffel bag, so we can go fill it in the house and just tuck it, toss it in here. We got a little camp chair, we got a little starry night. We're gonna pull that out and charge our lights. We still gotta put our heater in, our power, and uh, anything else we think of. But I think I'm done today. I was trying to get this whole thing done today, but it's just not gonna happen. Uh, so I'm just gonna clean up, and we're gonna call it for today, and we'll be back out here tomorrow. Just like, I don't know. We were out all day doing some other errands, kind of lost momentum. Dang la schwab. <laughs> so we'll pick this up in the AM. All right, stick around. You're going to see this whole build out get done. If you want to see how to do it, you need to watch the video. Good morning. It's a little cold. So we got the wood fire going. Check it out. Boom. This thing works so great. I'm so grateful for the, having that at the shop. Now we're back to building out our truck camper. And we're leaving in just a few days. 
Uh, I'm gonna be living in there for about a week. We're gonna see how it goes. So it's a new day and we need basically what we need to do is we need to finish packing that, building that out. And uh, we need to do our Reflectix windows today. We need to put our buddy heater in there, get power in there, all that good stuff. So let's back the truck in and let's get after it. Update, I cut the first piece of Reflectix for the window and opened up my Velcro tabs. And for some reason, this is only the lock part. Uh, why would they sell a kit that's not the other part? I don't understand. Uh, I just didn't even think that was a thing to watch out for. <laughs> But basically I can't finish putting those up. Uh, but I guess I'll just tell you what that is. I just cut some Reflectix with some scissors to hit the window and I'm gonna put some double-sided sticky tape Velcro up on the window and be able to just Velcro these up and then pull them down so I can have privacy uh, and they're not super permanent. But I guess that's not gonna make this video because I'm not going to the store today or I'll lose the day. So I think what we're going to end up doing is just cutting the rest of that Reflectix and then moving on. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. So Nathan came out <laughs> and told me that these actually do go together. I just had to press a little harder. <laughs> so. <Okay. laughs> I think we forgot to film some of it, but here we go. Bam! So we'll walk you through it. We got cargo net up top so we could like store some stuff up there. We got a little twinkle lights that connect to that thing up there. There's solar. So we got lighting in here. We put some reflectix up um, on the major windows. We couldn't do that last one because ran out of material, but I think we're fine. <laughs> Got our Kelty sleeping bag. Got our duffel bag for our clothes. Got a little camp chair. Bed platform. That'll raise up or down depending. I thought about raising that up so that we could put, this is the heater, a little buddy heater. And then um, some extra propane. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is our little camper build. Uh, we're gonna live in here for about a week, but that's how you can build a truck a truck bed camper with zero tools. We didn't use one drill or screw gun or anything. I will admit we used a box cutter and some scissors. So, but 
if you're looking some I, th I think some people they're really you know they think they got to save their money for three years and you know they gotta have all these skills and they need to build a van for the next two years to get out on the road and I've honestly seen people living full-time in setups just like this um, I think the best thing you can do is just whatever you got going just make it work and get out there and live in experience uh, so me and my buddy Nathan who you guys have probably seen on this channel if you've ever watched my channel before we're gonna go out and just make some content take some photos make some videos and this is gonna be my house for the next week <laughs> I'm excited uh, we're gonna do an uh, an in-depth tour once we're out on the road and I really get everything in here and the clothes and you guys can see it being lived in but if you were looking to uh you know get out on the road this is all the basic stuff you need you just need bed heat and some power some light send it thank you guys for watching I'm really hyped about this little budget truck build situation and uh consider subscribing if you're not already I'll see you guys in another video peace